Okay, we're here looking at your new silent tool. Obviously, silent tool, it's, it's not a new process, but I know this is. So what is it that's actually new? Yeah, the silent tool technology is actually more than 50 years old. Uh, the newest invention is that we have uh, embedded sensors in the tool. So we can uh, pick up information from the process with, when it's in cut mm -hmm. and uh, share this with the operator on the display mm -hmm. so we can better understand what is going on into the process. Uh, deep into the component, behind closed door, as in this Integrex uh, multi-task machine tool. So give me an example. We're generating lots and lots of data. What can we do with this data? What is it telling us? Yeah, the data can give you the history about what happened during the cut. Uh, in many uh, applications, it's important to have a record about what is going on. Uh, if you had an uh, insert breakage, it can be also nice to know where this happened so they can do an uh, exact examination to uh, quality control the part itself. But the idea must be to, to be able to predict that insert breakage. So if, if, the, if, it, if it's shaken, if, if you've got increased harmonics, presumably we're telling the machine tool to, to, to stop before the insert breaks. Yeah, we can see it on uh, a graphical display. As when I kick the bar, you will have a uh, a sensor telling about uh, this uh, incident and the operator can take action accordingly. Mm -hmm. So presumably the idea is to stop, you know, you want increased process reliability. This is obviously a mock of a component, but this could be, this could be landing gear. These are hundreds of thousands of pounds just for the material. So we can't, we can't scrap a component. The, the, the goal is to make the uh, process more reliable. Uh, to reduce the scrap rate, because as you said, the component costs for some of these uh, uh, major industries are uh, amazing high. And if you can uh, save a couple of components, uh, I think uh, the investment is in this type of technology is uh, paid by itself. And what else does the data tell us? Will, will it give us an indication of surface finish and things like this? Yeah, I think uh, by, by the, the record you get uh, from the process, you can uh, get a good picture about the surface quality. And you can also um, play with the, the settings so you can optimize your cutting feed, speed, and the, the process parameters. Like this is on a huge boring bar. So what's, what, what's the ratio we can use? Yeah, we have introduced a standard offer from 1st of March this year. It's from the 60 millimeter. Uh, 80 millimeter and 100 millimeter diameter up to 10 times D. Uh, but we have also the engineered solution where we can uh, extend the limits up to almost 18 times D in overhang and the diameter from uh, 100 and above. That's incredible. So seven, up to 80 millimeters, maybe even larger, 18, 18 times diameter. Yeah, 18 times diameter. And that is amazing because uh, three years ago, the maximum overhang was around 14 times D. By, by increasing the knowledge, uh, utilized uh, the technology, we have exp extended this uh, limit uh, up to almost 18 times D in overhang. That's incredible. I've mentioned landing gear. That, that's the obvious one for me, for the, you know, the size of the component, the size of the bore, and, and the cost of the component. But who else do you see using this type of technology? Uh, luckily now, the oil and gas industry is picking up. We see it's a uh, very uh, much more use of uh, high sophisticated materials in those compo uh, subsea components. And oil and gas is definitely a target uh, industry for this uh, technology. And we've, again, we're generating lots and lots of data, lots and lots of data. Where's it going to go? What's next? What, you know, what's, what's around the corner for Sandvik Coromant? Yeah, for Sandvik Coromant, I think we, there is a focus now to have a uh, selection of products uh, under the uh, digital uh, umbrella Coro Plus. Mm -hmm. And this uh, tool control is a part of the Coro Plus product offer. We have analytics also, where you can take the big data and do analytics mm -hmm. and uh, uh, learn and uh, implement and make uh, uh, optimization to your processes. And this machine, it's colossal. I know you've got silent tools for smaller machines as well, smaller diameters. Yeah, the standard offer is also for the smaller uh, machine tools, uh, maybe more the turning centers with a uh, turret. Uh, these are the more advanced ones, and uh, this is uh, uh, what I call the high-end solutions. 
Yeah, thanks for your time. It's been an education. Many thanks. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be here and uh, thank you.